to another video guys so excuse my hands i'm covered in bits of gel and everything i'm literally in the middle of recording a set of nails but a little parcel has just turned up normally i'll just throw it to one side and leave it but because i don't know what's in it <laughs> curiosity has got the better of me um i know what's in it but i don't know what's in it if you know what i mean so this is some pr born pretty has sent me so obviously I know that these are stamping gels but I don't know what so there's number 10 number 12 and this one hasn't got a number on it but going off the barcode I think that's number seven because if you look at these two it's got 10 and 12 there so 7 10 and 12 and then there's this pot on the bottom it says metallic drawing gel alchemist so Going to get them open and have a nosy. Right, so let's see what these are. So this is number 10. When I do find out what they are, I'll stick pictures up on the screen. Number 10, white gold. White gold. Oh! It's gold, but it's a very, very light gold. Um, Going to do a little swatchy thingy with these. Oh, they're really cute, itty bitty little tubes, aren't they? I like them. Right, number 12 is black tulip. So that's got to be black, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's definitely black. These tubes are full as well, I can tell. Right, so we've got a gold, a black. And then this is number 7, which is in a longer tube. So this has got to be different, hasn't it? Oh, this is in a different... Oh, flore fluorescent stamping gel, red bean fluorescent. So does that mean neon or glow in the dark? Because a lot of these times, fluorescent means neon. And sometimes it means glow in the dark. Oh, I'm excited to find out. Cool. So glad there's a pink in there. So we've got black, gold and pink. I would much rather have had black, white and pink. Um... But anyway, it is what it is. We've got what we've got. We'll try them in a minute. I've never used um, gel to stamp, so I haven't got a clue how to do it. Um, but we're going to have fun trying. Right, so let's see what this is. So this says Metallic Drawing Gel Alchemist. No idea. So it's obviously going to be a painting gel. Some sort of paint gel. Metallic, obviously. I hope it's not silver because I've got a silver one. No, it's not. It's gold. Is it gold? Oh, oh, it's like a, a brownie, bronzy kind of gold. I've always started leaving a little lip like that on my gel paints. So I can wipe my brush off without gunking the whole pot up. Oh, I'm sticky. I hate getting sticky, guys. For those of you that know me, you will know I hate sticky. Oh, I've got it all over my scissors now. Oh. Right, I'm still a little bit sticky, but... Uh, right, so this looks like a, a bronzy kind of gold. Ooh, that's exciting. Right guys, I think what I'm going to do is paint some tips. I'll probably paint some tips or swatch sticks. Um, half black, half white or something. Um, and I'm going to find out if this is glow in the dark or if it's just neon. And we'll have a little play. I think I might have to watch a couple of videos on how to use them. Because this is a gel, it has to be cured in the lamp. Um, so yeah, I'll get that done and I'll be back. Right guys, um, so I've got out three or four different stampers, um, different plates, and we're just going to try a few different, a few different things. We've got that one, might try one of them, animal print. I've got some with writing on, just so we can see if it picks up the writing. Just a bit of variety. So I think I'm going to try this black one first. I have never ever used stamping gels. 
So I've got out an old stamper. I'm going to try it on this old stamper first. This is old and battered. It's what I use when I'm stamping with pigments. Um, this is an old one as well. And I've also got out a brand new one. This is a brand new stamper head. And it's very, very sticky, very fresh, very new. So I'm going to try with my old ones first. And if I can't get them to work, we'll try the new one. So I'm going to start with the black. Right, I think we'll do a zebra print here because it's a white background. We might as well do a zebra print. Um, right, I think we'll do this one on the bottom corner because it's got a bit of negative space and yeah, yeah, we'll do that one. <laughs> so let's have a go at this, shall we? So I'm going to put the gel across the top of the image. I'm just going to put a line of it across the top. And I'm going to use this little teeny cute born pretty scraper and I'm just going to scrape the image. Make sure I cover the whole thing. So I'm going to use this old stamper first. Oh, that's picked it up fine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off though because it's gel. Yeah, I can't get that off. Right, I wonder if a lint-free roller will do it. Yeah, that lint roller's got it off. You just have to give it a couple more rolls than you normally would. Right, so let's see if this stamps. Oh, look at that, guys. Ooh, that stamped beautifully. Right, let's get that cured. Right, so that's that out the lamp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rub some chrome powder into this tacky layer and see if this works. I've seen people doing this as well. So let's rub this in. Oh, guys, this is amazing. Oh, look at that. Wow, let me get that wiped off. Wow. Look at that. How cool is that? Wow. You would probably be best stamping it onto a matte background so you don't get these little bits that stick, but that's my first attempt. That's beautiful. Right, so I'm going to do this this one now which is called white gold and I think we will do um, I think I'm gonna stamp one of these little flowers here maybe this little one that looks quite cute don't it should we do that do this little flower looks quite cute doesn't it So again, can you see, I'm just going to give it a scrape. And then pick it up. So let's do it over the black and the white. Oh, very opaque, isn't it? Look at it over the black. It's very opaque. Right, shall we try something else? Quite difficult to get the excess off. I'm not quite used to that. Oh, that stamps brilliantly, doesn't it? It's very opaque. Very opaque. Right, so this needs to be cured in the lamp now as well. Right, and this fluorescent pink one, I think I'm going to try these love arts here, this kind of love art design. Oh, see how we get on with that one. Oh, wow, look at that. 
Look at that. That is cool. Right, let's cure that. Right, and what I'm going to do with these is just top coat straight over them. When you're top coating over a stamped image, you just want to float your top coat over. Don't brush it too hard. You don't want to brush that image off. Just float it over like that and put it straight in the lamp. Right, lastly, I'm going to have a quick look. This is another nail I've painted, black and white. I want to have a quick look at this... Um, metallic drawing gel and it is in the colour Alchemist and it's 01 what I'm going to do quickly is give it a quick stir right so let's see what this looks like this looks beautiful guys this looks beautiful I have no idea what to do I'm just going to do some little swirls This is beautiful. It's quite thick, but that's exactly what you want with a, a paint gel. This is very, very nice. Let's do one over the black as well. How pretty are they? This is going to be beautiful to do outlines on a few different things. This is going to be beautiful. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I just wanted to see what it would look like. Over a black and a white. And it looks beautiful. I really really like that I've got a silver metallic but I haven't got a gold so this is perfect that's beautiful I really really like that yeah that's nice that's very nice isn't it that's going to be nice for over autumn and Christmas right let's get that cured right and lastly I just want to have a quick swatch, see what this gold's going to look like on a full cover. It's quite thick, but that's exactly what you want with a painting gel. You want it to be thick. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Oh, my gosh. This Look, I'm stretching that so thinly down the nail. So thin. Oh, oh my gosh. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. Wow. That is stunning. I really, really like it. Beautiful. Right, guys. So that is me finished having fun. <laughs> so this is the gold stamping gel. White gold. Um, I tried to do the snake print and the flowers. That's the fluorescent pink one. Um, this is the black. I'm going to have so much fun learning how to use this. Um, like I said, I've never used stamping gel before. I don't think I did a bad job for my first attempt. I think it definitely helped using an old stamp. Well, it worked using an old stamper. It did work. Um, and this is the gold metallic paint gel. It dries with a glossy, non-sticky layer, which is brilliant. So you can do embossed work like this and you don't have to top coat it, which I really, really like. They've got this in silver metallic and rose gold as well. I bet the rose gold one's beautiful. But um, yeah, I had fun. I just need to learn how to use them properly. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed them. I'll leave links to all these below. Um... And if I have got any discount codes, I will ask them. I'll leave them below as well. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching me struggle. But I had fun. I really enjoy. I love learning new things. I love learning how to use new products. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I am covered in gel. I need to get this off my fingers ASAP. Um, I am filthy. But yeah, that's it, guys. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. 
hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my uploads. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next one. Take care. Bye.